Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to have a quick look at how to name a cell and how to name a range of cells. So first of all, a cell, a single cell. In this example, I have a VAT cell there, which is in cell B11. It tells you so in the name box. If I want to name that cell VAT, first of all, I click into it and then type in the name box VAT and then just press enter and then I can use that name in a formula so if I click in this column and work the, the VAT out it's equals D3 times VAT you see the name is recognized if I click the tick you get the 48 pence which is the correct answer and then drag that down if VAT changes they all recalculate. If I go to a different sheet and let's say I want to know what the VAT on that is times the VAT tick it works it out so it's available on any sheet once you've named it. Now if you want to name a range if I go back to this sheet you can do the same sort of thing you can highlight it and type hours over time, etc., etc. So I've just typed in the labels, and this one's called gross pay. You'll notice it's got an underscore. I can also go into the data tab and select define range, give it a name, and then this is selected, and then you can add it like so. So if I wanted to add that, for example, I could highlight it, call it test, and then OK. And then you've got test as a named range. If I go back to define range, test is H14. To H18. Now, once you've named a list like this, you can use that name in a formula. Basically, it works. If it sees the name for that row, it will work out the information for that row. So hours plus overtime in brackets, so do that first, times the rate. The rate is there. So normally it would be something like that. Cell references, H3 plus I3 in brackets, then times J3. You would have to go and see what each one of those was. But with names, you can see it straight away, hours plus overtime times the rate. So you can see whether there's a mistake or not. Now if we go on to this last sheet and just highlight this list here and define that as duration. Duration, we'll add that one. And then we'll do this one as cost. So I'll type cost, select the list I want, which is this, cost, bring that back up, add. And we'll do subtotal. So sub, it's two words, needs a underscore, like so. I'll put a capital S in. It's not case sensitive, so that's okay. Uh, the range for subtotal is going to be this. Bring that back up. Click add. And then the last one will be vat amount. So vat underscore amount. So you can't have spaces, so you have to have underscores. The range for that is going to be this area here. Bring that back up, add that one, and then click OK. So now what I should be able to do is use those names to work out the answer. So equals duration, type duration, times cost. Click the tick, works it out, double click it down, fills it down. So the VAT amount is the VAT amount of that. So we've got VAT, which is on a different sheet, but we can still use it. So I need to go equals sub underscore total. I could actually click that there. Times VAT. Not VAT amount, VAT. And then bring that down. Now that VAT amount is not correct because I've changed it. 
to 25%. So I'll put that back to 20%. 20%. Okay, and then go back and see what's happened there. So 24660, that's right. Then go back and add these two up. So this is going to be equals sub total, sub underscore total times, not times, plus VAT amount, VAT underscore amount. And then if that works, we click the tick, it does work. And we can double click this down and it fills it down so that's just a quick example of naming a single cell and then using named ranges for lists and then using those names in formulas so you can see how that works like so so hopefully that was of use to you thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one